All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, as you guys may know, the next summonable unit coming to global is the Int LR Goku and Piccolo. So in today's video, I want to quickly take you guys through everything you need to know about this unit to help you decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragon Stones to summon for them. Now, before we talk about what this unit actually does, let's quickly pop over to the official Dokkan Twitter page here and take a look at their animations because I know that's uh, very important to a lot of people. So I'm gonna just pause my music here and let's check it out. Here we go. Okay, so those were the animations for the Int, LR, Goku, and Piccolo, and um, they're pretty good. They're, they're, they're pretty good. Now, this is probably like the fourth or fifth time I've seen them, so it's not like I can get really too hyped for them anymore, but I gotta say, they look a lot better than the um, new Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit animations over on JP, and it's kind of sad, right? Because like... These days, you kind of expect every new unit to kind of up the standard for animations. Like, for the most part, every new unit has kind of impressed me or blown me away with their animations. But the God Coup and Hit, it's because of this new animation style they're trying. And it's, it just does not work for me, man. And, like, I tried to like it, you know. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, it's not too bad. But the more I watched it unless I liked it, you know? So, anyways, these animations, much better. I much more prefer this style. And, uh, yeah, I would say, like, if I were to rate it, i give these guys a solid 8 out of 10 on the uh, animation scale, which is above average, I would say. Like, it's not really the best thing I've ever seen. Um, it's not like, when I see this, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta have this unit. But, very good. Very good. Okay, so moving on to uh, the banner now, before we talk about the unit itself. Um, it's a legendary summon banner. It's a standard legendary summon banner, which means that the only new unit we're going to be getting is the Goku and Piccolo. And then for the rest of the banner, we have, uh, let's see, 11 um, non Dokkan Fest featured units. So 12 featured SSRs in total, a couple of SRs as well, of course. But uh, in terms of the SSRs, uh, I mean, there's some good ones, you know, there's some good ones, like the Tech Falcon Goku with the Easy A, great stacker, um, this hit Gohan can be a lifesaver with his healing, uh, good support from the Tech Krillin, um, Chi Chi got an Easy A, so she's actually very good for Peppy Gals. And, uh, you know, like Rochi solid, Piccolo solid, some 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 good non Tokan Fest units. But with that said, the banner overall is really bad. Uh, it's, it's your standard trash legendary summon banner. And that's really all I can say about it. Um, 
all of these units, of course, you can get on any other banner. They're unfeatured on every other banner in the game, so it's not like if you don't get them here, you're gonna be missing them, or like you can't get them again. Um, yeah, it's just a bad banner. <laughs> it's just a bad banner, and of course this was the JP banner, there could be changes for global, but if there are changes, I mean, they would just swap out like one or two of these unfeatured, or sorry, um, non Dokkan Fest SSRs, it wouldn't really make that much of a difference, it's only still going to be one uh, LR on the banner for sure featured. And then obviously you do have the unfeatured LRs too, and it should have every single non Dokkan Fest LR in the unfeatured pool, but it's kind of hard to uh, recommend somebody to go into a legendary summon banner to seek an unfeatured LR because your rates, your chances of pulling one of these, like specific ones, um, it's very low. Okay, so uh, unless you're just okay with pulling any LR, you have a decent chance if you spend like a couple hundred stones to pull a random unfeatured LR, but if you're looking for like a specific one like, you know, UI Goku or Tapion of Minosha or Turles or something like that, then it's very, very unlikely. Okay, so yeah, this banner, not good. Uh, rating, I would say 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> now let's talk about the Goku and Piccolo themselves. Because obviously, you're summoning for this unit, you want to run this unit, you want to use this unit, right? So how good are they? Leader skill, saviors category, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%. Now this is the category led by, well the first unit that comes to mind would be the tech ultimate Gohan. Okay, so as far as like main leaders go, it's just him, and then of course the Goku and Piccolo that give 130%, but if you already have the ultimate Gohan, then you don't need these guys for a leader, obviously. Or int types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, 12 key super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, Causes colossal damage and lowers defense. 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. Passive attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack, high chance of launching up to two additional attacks, plus an additional key plus one up to six, and attack and defense plus 10% up to 59% with each attack performed. Launches an additional super attack every time the character attacked six or more times in battle when HP is 59%. Or less. The active skill can be activated when uh, or after attacking six or more times in battle if HP is 59% or more once only, and you get key plus six and attack and defense plus 59% for one turn. Links: In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Tough as Nails, Experience Fighter, Solid Support, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Full Power, Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, and Saviors. All right, so a couple things to uh, note about the passive here. These additional attacks cannot be super attacks, okay? These are guaranteed to be normal attacks. So, uh, in theory, you could launch up to three supers with hidden potential investment, but not five, like some people might think, okay? And um, I think the condition for their active skill is pretty good because, you know, it's not six super attacks, it's just six attacks. So, if you get these two additional attacks, and then 4th additional from your hidden potential, then theoretically you could get this uh, active skill on the 2nd or I guess 3rd appearance. But after 2 appearances, you could fulfill the condition for 6 attacks and then get the active skill on the subsequent turn they come back, right? One thing I don't love, obviously, is the fact that they are not going to be a good slot 1 unit because they actually get this main attack and defense boost after they super attack or when they super attack. So if you put them in the first slot and you get supered before these guys get to attack, then you're going to be in some trouble, most likely. But yeah, man, I mean, if you get the full attack and defense boost here, you get this key boost, they're going to be getting their supers pretty often. Um, they're going to be hitting really hard. They're going to be getting some good defense after they super. So, you know, it's a very, very powerful unit, for sure. Very powerful unit, but a big concern for them is the lack of categories like most joint forces units in the game. Because you have Goku and Piccolo, and because, you know, they're in different races, they're, um, they've got different characteristics, I guess. You're not going to get, like, pure Saiyans, you're not going to get Namekians, uh, you're not going to get, you know, low-class warriors or anything like that. So only four categories for these guys, so when it comes to team building, your, your choices are a bit limited, for sure. 
but just as a unit overall, I do think they're quite powerful. And it's her as far as the uh, costume change goes, you get the costume change where Goku strips down and Piccolo strips down um, after you pop the active skill. So they'll change their look and the animations, they'll look different in the animations after you use the active skill. And uh, I guess that's pretty much all there really is to say about this unit. Um, I do like them, but they are a little bit wonky. They do have some issues. And before we talk about any recommendations, let's do one more thing here. And this is new for this video. I didn't do it before, but I feel like it's useful for a lot of people that are considering summoning for units. So we are on the uh, Dokkan Battle Linking Partners website. And... The best linking partners for the Goku and Piccolo would be mostly joined forces units, right? So we got the Tech Angel Frieza as well as Goku, and uh, they share five links with this unit. Experienced Fighters, Solid Support, Shocking Speed, Gears Battle, and Legendary Power. Now one problem with uh, running these two on a rotation is that they're both slot two units, okay? Because both of them get their attack and defense boosts mostly from super attacking so uh i actually don't love the idea of running these two together just because you know of that reason but you also have the fizz angel golden frieza and android 17 which is a better option and uh, you also have the krillin and gohan as a potential linking partner once again on joint forces and then the last unit that gives gives them five links is uh this tech pycon <laughs> and then we have the four link uh, category here, a bunch of other joint forces units. Um, we got Jiren, who is on full power, which could work, but like I said before, you know, because of their lack of categories, uh, your, you know, options when it comes to team building, it's gonna be a little bit limited, which also I feel like hurts a unit and hurts this unit specifically. So. There you go guys, I think that's essentially everything there is to know about this unit, about the banner and everything. Uh, as I said, the banner's really bad. It's your standard, like, trash legendary summon banner, so there's really not much value here. And uh, the animations are good, they're not the best I've seen, but they're, they're good. So, hopefully at this point, you know, you guys do have enough information to just decide for yourselves if you want to summon or not, but if you really want my recommendation you want my suggestion i mean it's pretty simple man i just think most people should skip this banner i don't think that this unit uh is gonna really change people's lives enough you know like especially like a average fit to play player like i don't think it's really gonna make that much of a dif difference for you to get this unit that you should like throw stones into this banner so most people just straight up skip it because we got a lot of other good things on the way. We got the uh, Dragon Ball Heroes collab, which is probably coming in a couple weeks from now. We have the uh, Tech Gogeta banner, the Thank You Celebration banner, dropping at the end of November slash beginning of December. We have potentially a global first for Christmas, or maybe Super Vegeta. Either way, it's going to be just much more worth uh, your stones than any Legendary Summon banner that's going to drop between now and then so yeah i think it's a straight up skip it's a very very easy skip in my opinion but if you must summon don't do more than like two or three multis at most you know test your luck see how it goes but um it, it's just not worth it guys the, the banner is too bad the unit is good but not good enough to me to justify spending too many stones so there you go that's how i feel that is your Pass or pull video for Int, LR, Goku, and Piccolo. Let me know in the comments down below what your plan is. Do you guys uh, still intend to go into the banner and, you know, test your luck? Or are you going to follow my advice, my suggestion, and just straight up skip it? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And... If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger, 
with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.